Unit 5, Integrating Technology Plan. Cheyenne Rose, Professor Wolf, ETEC 424.01 W. Technology and Assistive Technology. Technology and Assistive Technology. I am most familiar with using iPads and computers, mostly the Microsoft Offices and games. For assistive technology, I am most familiar with wheelchairs and crutches. As an athlete, I have experienced many injuries requiring the usage of crutches, as well as having to help other team teammates out who needed crutches as well. A few years ago, my sister broke her femur, and that is when I became familiar with wheelchairs. I'm very good at getting them inside and outside of cars. My major is English education. Um, my mom is a middle school English teacher, so I have had experiences observing her classroom. I also want to be a cheerleading coach and have gotten to coach and help her middle school cheer squad as well. I've been interested in English for years. I tried to read many books in my free time. I'm also a member of the Sigma Tau Delta English Honor Society. I enjoy cheerleading, playing and walking dogs, and eating food. My philosophy on technology usage in the classroom is that no two students are the same, and this includes how they learn as well. The classroom is full of a diversity of learners. I plan to use technology in my lessons in order to reach out to a wide range of students. For example, I might allow students to come up to the smart board and write answers down. This would appeal to students who learn the best kinesthetically because they would get to move around. It would also motivate students to figure out the answers so that they could come up to the board. I also am a big fan of the game Kahoot and want to use it in my classroom with small groups. Technology is a huge part of this upcoming generation and is what makes the students excited. I plan to be up to date and use some of these devices in my everyday teaching. Real World Preparation As a future educator, I think that using technology in the classroom is most important because it prepares the students for the real world. Now more than ever, technology is becoming more involved in all aspects of the workforce. It is important to teach students the basics of technology in order for them to be successful. Connectivism Theory this is a new theory that is developed and based upon the idea that people process information by forming connections. This theory has developed with the digital and technology age, adapting to advances in these arenas. This new theory suggests that people no longer stop learning after formal education and continue to gain knowledge from other avenues such as job skills, networking, experiences, and access to information with new tools and technology. This is my favorite theory because I do believe that people continue to learn throughout their lives, not just academically, but they also go through life lessons as well. I plan to use this theory by making connections to real-world real scenarios for my students in order to keep them interested in process information. Teaching methods. Over the semester, I have learned many new teaching methods that I hope to use in my classroom one day. First, games. This kind of learning method is defined as the desire to engage students in more active learning in the classroom. They require students to be problem solvers and use soft skills that they will need as adults. This is a great way to encourage kids to master their skills and have a classroom engagement as well. Next is kinesthetic learning. This kind of teaching method is defined as or known as tactical learning or hands-on learning. This method is how I personally learn the best. It is challenging to incorporate into lessons, but I plan to try my best in order to keep the students alert and excited. Culture. Technology can change the culture of a school by providing resources for students to learn about diversity and other people. I remember being in high school, my government teacher would play CNN student news on the smart board before every class period so that we would get a little insight into what was happening around the world. I hope as a future educator to take the same principle and constantly be opening up my students' minds to the people of the world. The more our culture is portrayed in media and everyday life, the more recognizable and familiar it will be for students. By doing this, it will also help to prevent bullying and cultural barriers. 
Using technology. Student reflection. Technology applies to student reflections in that it allows students to be creative and relay their personal thoughts in different formats. Whether it be a PowerPoint or a creative narrative in a Word document, students are able to express themselves through technology. Collaboration skills. Technology allows students to work together on projects and assignments and learn from one another. It forces classroom interactions. Enhanced sense of community. Technology in the classroom can create a sense of community in that all students are connected through their devices. Whether it's a class set of computers or iPads, all students are on the same level and working to reach the same goals. Technology and lesson plans. As a future educator, I plan to incorporate technology into my classroom as frequently as I can. Here is an example of how I plan to apply technology into my weekly lesson plans. Monday, PowerPoint lecture of the material for the week. Tuesday, lesson using the iPads involving individual work. Wednesday, break into small groups and play games using iPads involving the lesson. Thursday, play a Kahoot review game over the materials learned throughout the week. Friday, take a test over the materials using clickers. References. The first website that I got my information from was called educationdegree.com. The second website that I got my information on was teach.com what teachers teach.